Hey, welcome back to The Last Cut. I am Ashley Wagner, full on outfit change, Jackie Wong. I, what's up? I was not told about the outfit change. We, <laughs> what was I going to change it to another hoodie? We will. <laughs> yeah, don't, doesn't this hoodie come in other colors? It does. It does. <laughs> So, okay, we are here to talk about the Pairs event. Pairs. Alexa and Brandon coming out on top. What an exciting event. What do you have to say about them? I mean, it was just so fun to continue watching both Alexa and Brandon and Deanna and Maxine. Mm -hmm. Like, they they brought the great skating right. to the Pairs event. And, I, you know, I got to say, for Deanna and Max, I feel like this is very much a career-turning moment for them. Like... They're at a Grand Prix. This mm -hmm. is not a Challengers event. Like this is, she's the oldest skater ever to win a Grand Prix medal. Well, after a certain age, figure skaters just dry up and float away. I mean, you in you know wind. you know this because you were the oldest. Lots of things. <laughs> I was. I was. No, to see a female athlete at her age. And to be so competitive, I mean, it's really exciting to watch because you just know that yeah. she has so many incredible years in front of her. And to be putting out that kind of quality skating on this type of a stage, yeah. for the two of them, it's amazing. I mean, one of their throws, it was the most superhuman thing I've ever seen in my entire life. She shouldn't have landed it, yeah. but the power of Deanna Stellato, she said, not today. And you saw it on her face. I've never skated with that much determination to do anything in my entire life. That was very, uh, If bear with me for old references, that was very 1995 Todd Eldridge short program, Triple Lutz. <laughs> it was... It was a uh, it, it was a moment. You said that. Yeah, uh, it was a moment. It was uh, it was that I think catapulted her to be like I'm going to finish this program and and do the best that I can. I mean, I also saw her coming around the corner. <laughs> she told you, she told you that the entire last minute of the program is just her getting <laughs> lifted. Yeah. And I was curious what you meant by that, and then I watched it and. It, that's all she did. She just got lifted, but she was skating around the corner and she yells at Max. She goes, you got this, Max. <laughs> and she's just intense yes. and so determined. Yeah. And I, that's what I want to see from athletes. I want to yeah. see that skating matters to them, that the hard work that they put into this sport should be paying off and that yeah. they expect it to pay off. I mean, I'll, I'll say too, and, and we'll, 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 move on to from from Deanna and Max but when she came back what 5 years ago now mm -hmm. nobody would have expected her to still be skating at 39 mm -hmm. and being better than she was when she first start, first started mm -hmm. coming back and now is a really legitimate pair skater. I mean, she's the f like the finest of red wines. I, she just yeah. truly keeps oh, on getting so better good. and better. Uh, let's talk about Alexa and Brandon. Definitely not their best performance tonight. It's early in the season. There were some moments that were a little bit sloppy. They doubled the side by side. I feel like the difference is Dana and Max look like their side by side double sal was on purpose. Yeah. They're just kind of going for a clean skate not really the case for these two and it just looked like they they knew what they had to lose and sometimes when you're skating like that it can really yeah. shift how you attack every element and that's what i feel like we were missing from them tonight yeah. that attack i i agree i mean the 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 throws have been really solid for them this mm -hmm. week and i don't um it you know they just got feel, feels like either one of them or both of them backed off just a little just mm -hmm. to be conservative but like the best Alexa Kinnearum throws are when she goes full out, and mm -hmm. we didn't quite see that from them. But nevertheless, I mean, you know, the their 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 skating itself kind of speaks for itself, and so, you know, it it, it was going to come down to like basically both of them had the same technical content. Both of them doubled the sow. Mm -hmm. Both of them had the triple toe, double toe. Both of them had the flip and the throw loop. Right. What came down to the grades of execution came down to the program compo program components mm -hmm. came back came down to the fact that Alexa and Brandon had the lead from the short program so mm -hmm. you know it was like a four point swing it wasn't it was very close 
It's going to be really exciting to watch them go head to head throughout this season. I was backstage listening to Alexa talk to Andrea Joyce with NBC, and she was frustrated. She was talking about how she should be excited to be in this position coming out as the top spot, but it wasn't what they are capable of. And she's the kind of athlete who isn't just going to take this for what it is. They're going to go home, work hard, get stronger, and show up at their next Grand Prix event even better. So exciting things to come from them. We are moving on to the men's free skate, so we will be right back after this event. I'm Ashley Wagner. This is Jackie Wong, and tune in for the next episode of The Last Cut here at the Skating Club of Boston.